Step in the box, baseball fans. Welcome back to another episode of night. It has been a while. Been hard finding product recently. Been kind of waiting for some 2020 tops update that I have on pre-order. But I do have a couple topics tonight. One, this monster right here. Randy A. in the house. I actually called this autograph when I first pulled it this summer a trash bag auto, considering it was a St. Louis Cardinal. Didn't even know this. And this is far from trash bag, guys. So this dude is one of the hottest cards out there. And my question, you guys, get it graded or not? Because eight months from now, who knows? So I'm going to throw in. I didn't pull out. I can't find them right now. I'm going to go look. Out of If you've been watching my videos, I open a ton of pink cellos. Not one pink from... Randy A here, not one pink. I pulled a sapia and pulled a prism refractor and a regular refractor, but not one pink of all of them, which is insane. So we did pull a couple autographs, the complete set gold. I got a few more of these. Got the base chromes, that's it. Six base or five base chromes there. No, six, I thought I had six. Six base chromes and then all the series one, 20 plus, so. My question, you guys, get them graded or not? Wait, we'll see. I'm selling the autographs raw as they are. One's on eBay ending shortly. Looking around with 100 bucks. Who knows, maybe it'll go up. But So there's the first topic. Second topic, going, if you, I'm gonna put a link in the description. But in the middle of July, I ran into a program called Investacard. I had heard about it a month or two earlier and decided to send a bunch of low-tier cards to get graded. If you don't know what Investacard is, do a little search. And what they do is they, they take your cards, they send them to SGC, they get them graded on their dollar, they sell them, and then you get a percentage of the sale price. Depending on the tier, under 50 bucks is 40%, over 50 bucks is 50%, and then higher end cards, it's more of a cut. But I saw an update from Investacard, and I am trying to get an answer where they, since just like at PSA and BGS, the turnaround times on graded cards are crazy. So they are no longer accepting cards, and people who have mailed them in, they are sending them back. So I reached out to them. I think mine actually made it out to grading, and I was kind of hoping not because I sent, I have a couple pink Tatises in there. I got some cards that I wouldn't mind getting back. A couple really nice Tyler Hero mosaic, um, mosaic refractors and whatnot. So if I'm gonna like I said, if you want to watch the Investor Card video, I'm gonna link it in this comment section. But who knows? I knew I was taking a risk when I did it. I have a lot. I had a lot of people ask out. He's been, he's been on the Sports Card Investor podcast um, or YouTube channel earlier this year. He's been on Instagram like crazy, and I just caught one of his uh, Instagram posts where he basically. I give the guy credit. Um, I wasn't very trustworthy in any way, but I give the guy credit. He's he said up front that the model doesn't work when it takes four to six months to get cards graded and he's kind of shut it down for now. So I'm, I'm interested to what's happening with my cards. I've had no updates. I've contacted them, no replies. So we will see. So have my next question is in the comments, have you heard of Investacard? Um, have you seen the program? Have you ever sent cards there? I know I've had people reach out to me about the program. So that's an update on Investacard. And old Randy A here, this stud. And I went down to a show in Lake Station, Indiana and set up. It's the very first time that I have sold at a show. And I ran into a young kid. He came over and bought a Pete Alonzo short print and a couple other cards from me. And uh, he's like, I know who you are. And I'm like, how do you know me? He's like, your YouTube channel. And I just cracked up. So I think his name is Chance. So if you're out there, Chance... Big thumbs up to you, dude. It was nice meeting you. If I got your name wrong, I'm sorry. Please comment in the section. My memory isn't the best when it comes to people. So comment. It's great seeing you guys and your dad out there. The show was awesome. But I had a great time. Hoping to get back there in November. 
So if you are local to Indiana area, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan area, um, there was quite a few people there. Heard the, the month before there was tons. And then I'm planning on setting up at a show in Oak Creek, Wisconsin on November 7th, a south burb of Milwaukee, not too far from me, 40 minutes or so. So there's a couple topics. I just wanted to get a video out because it's been a while. Keep you updated. Again, sick cards. This dude's hot. We'll see how it goes. But thanks again for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. Hope you guys are doing great. Stay tuned for 2020 Tops update. I'll be busting some of that for sure coming up. Hopefully something before then. Again, hope you guys are doing great. Have a great night. Enjoy the World Series. Peace.